Doctor, can you repeat the following after me, please? So I do solemnly. I do solemnly. Sincerely and truly. Sincerely and truly. Declare and affirm. Declare and affirm. That the evidence I shall give. That the evidence I shall give. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. And here we go. I believe you became responsible uh, for the care of Miss Hillier on the 21st of December of last year. Is that correct? That is correct. You took the view that Miss Hillier was very seriously unwell, was going to have, likely to have, although these things are never certain, a prolonged period before she'd recover. And indeed, she was so unwell that you said that Miss Mayer and her team should not um, communicate with her. So any, any discussion in relation to her son uh, has potential to cause a mental state of disease in a very short space of time, given your evidence at the hearing, uh, you discharged Miss Hillier um, and said you thought she had capacity. So I think I'd just like a little bit more explanation. Is someone sucking your cock? Come on. As to what seems a very rapid change of position. It's not a criticism. Uh, what was very clear when she first came into hospital under my care uh, at the end of December 2022 was that there didn't appear to be any um, consensus view around diagnosis. Ms. Hillier receives depot injections of an antipsychotic medication, is that correct? <laughs> that is correct. And the opinion of the doctor that uh, whose care she was under at Clockview Hospital uh, between August and September of 2022 didn't feel that there was a psychotic disorder present. She was treated with oral antipsychotic medication uh, during her previous admission to Bobby Hospital, um, which was in, um, I believe it was in September 2022. Um, you know, the belief that she was expressing uh, that there, there, were, there, were, there was evidence to support them, which, which goes against them being delusional in nature. Um, so part of her delusional belief system uh, relates to the um, uh, um, her son being removed from her care um, and, and the paranoid uh, persecution belief she has that um, her ex-partner David Bold is, is uh, somehow involved in this. Some of what Miss Hillier is saying is not delusion based on certainly her perception of truth. And evidence. Those are the things that I miss from my childhood. Evidence. Yeah. You mean due people... process? Right. Somebody says something happened and then someone else goes, well, I said it happened this way, like the old gumshoe shows, and they had to figure it out. Right. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't exist now. But I have uh, conducted, I think, two hearings where Miss Hillier's behavior has been what I can only describe as bizarre. I prefer prison over death. Well, death is not the issue. I do not have that power. I do have the power to send you to prison. That, there is a breach of the order. I argue that. I, I prefer prison. I prefer well, prison. Th this I is not prison. <laughs> Justice Holman in, I think, December 21, conducted a hearing where Miss Hillier's behaviour was sufficiently bizarre as for him to say he, he wasn't prepared to continue because he thought she didn't have capacity. I asked her whether she is indeed Christine Hillier. She seemed to be completely incapable of giving any rational answer to that question. She seemed completely incapable of doing so for around 20 minutes. So it's not so much whether she is delusional. Well, okay. It's her behavior that follows from that, way over the top angry responses, to her absolute refusal to engage with her lawyers or with other people who on any objective level could assist her. The fact that somebody makes unwise decisions doesn't mean they lack capacity. But where you combine decisions which are massively contrary to her interests with behaviour that is aggressive and out of control.
with a reported history of mental illness, it raises question marks over the very quick change in position in respect of her mental illness. Does that make sense, Doctor? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things, George, with, with Chris, with uh, Miss Hillier, sorry, is... Uh... Absolutely loved giving head and her enthusiasm was making all the difference for him. She tends to be rather, um, you know, guarded and uh, anxious about sort of um, imparting information because she fears that that will be held against her and she'll be judged. Um, and that may well be then be perceived by professionals, healthcare professionals, as being paranoid. Uh, in presentation and then that Christine or Miss Hilly has to prove herself um, and has to prove her experiences to be true and there to be substance behind her beliefs. That's the fucking point! Um, you know, so that, that then in turn exacerbates feelings of distress and, and, and isolation. You can also stroke his balls. Has she left hospital with any diagnosis, psychiatric or behavioural at all? I, I agreed to produce a letter for her to say that I was not satisfied that she met the criteria for a psychotic disorder. While your mouth is deliciously exploring his cock. In the interim, up until the 15th of March when she was discharged, there were any instances of obvious impulsive behaviour or behaviour which may have been risky to others? No, no there were no instances of, of behaviour that would be considered uh, risky or potentially risky to others. One of the matters that you have described is the fact that she has um, on occasions assaulted members of staff. Dr Highland, that there were instances where she'd assaulted staff. That was in, in the earlier stages of the admission that there had been instances of assault of staff. That Must have slipped my mind. That was uh, very much within the context of um, her being um, forcibly medicated. <laughs> you were not satisfied that she had a psychotic disorder. Does that mean you're not satisfied that she has any uh, mental health disorder or just specifically that one? Um, spe specifically uh, related to psychotic disorder. There is reference in um, various documents to her having had some mental health problems in the past. The reference to a drug called Effexor. I certainly didn't feel there was any evidence that, that Miss Hillia presented as uh, depressed or clinically presented as being depressed during her admission. She has spoken before about feeling quite hopeless over her current situation uh, and not having contact with her son um, and, and that, um, that may lead to her becoming suicidal. She, she certainly never requested any antidepressant medication. I didn't feel any was indicated. She doesn't come across as someone who is of an anxious disposition. My heart is racing. This is harassment. I just, I feel very stressed out. This is extreme harassment. May I, what's your ID? I don't even know. Okay, thank you. No, no. Can I see please your ID? No, may I please take a... I didn't. I didn't see it. Um, in fact, quite the opposite, really. She, she presents as a very art particularly and, and is able to be very self-confident in her expression of her beliefs and her views. Uh, this is misleading. This is not true. How's it misleading? This is illegal. How's it misleading? This is illegal. How, how is it misleading? What you guys are doing is illegal. How's it misleading? This is All harassment. It's for tenants that your tenancy signed and agreed by the people who you're renting this off and that you're telling me it's misleading. So that's very confusing. Um, so, I, you know, I, she never came across as someone who's anxious. They're covering up child sex trafficking. Child sex trafficking. My name is Christine Hillier. Find me on YouTube. Christine Hillier. YouTube. H I L L I E R. I promise, Christine Hellier, Christine Hellier, Christine Hellier. Christine Hellier. Christine Hellier. I was just told that the psychiatrist is giving me a clean bill of health. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! Ready.